What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Trey Sense. And thank you for returning to the channel. Before we even get started, I got a little something for you. Uh, give yourself a round of applause. Thank you, because uh, due to your consistency, the channel is growing and it is really helping. And I just want to thank you for all that you do for the channel. That being said, please uh, consider liking this video sharing this video and most importantly hitting that thumbs up button we try to get every video to 50 we're doing pretty good with the 50 so let's see if we can take it to 75 okay now what i got for you today these are fragrances from my collection that i feel are extremely masculine and the one thing that they all have in common is most of them get little to no talk and they are very inexpensive. I don't think any of them are hard to find. I was looking for my little rag to wipe my glasses with, man. Somebody invent self-cleaning glasses, they'll be a, be a millionaire. Um, most of these fragrances are inexpensive. Well, no, all of these fragrances are inexpensive. I mean, they just, but you just don't hear much about them. So, no further ado, of course, it's seven. I like seven, it represents the number of completion. Plus, it gives me about three minutes of fragrance and it keeps the video about 20 minutes long. All right, y'all ready? Let's go. This next one, the first one, I've heard my boy D. Da Vinci, the poet, talk about, and Mr. Goldie smells good. And it is from the house of Lamborghini, and it is Lamborghini Millennial. And I picked this up for $12, $13. Now, this one is a bit pungent. It is old school. It is classic man. It is barbershoppy. It is it, it, it is the complete opposite of every fragrance that is released today. It smells like something that would have been released in 1965. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. Again, referring to Lamborghini Millennial. I'm, I'm not saying that in a bad way at all. I'm saying that in a good way. It is a very strong fragrance. A little fougere, a little musky. Not to be confused with musty, because that's a whole nother zipper bag. But nonetheless, I like it. Now, again, the purpose of this video for you guys, and I, I think all of these fragrances fit another criteria. If you're in that 30, to 75 <laughs> range 30 and up i mean these are these are men's fragrances guys these are not the and none, nothing on this list is going to be confused with the unisex fragrance nothing on this list is going to be something that your teenage sons is going to want to pick up these are uh fragrances made for men these are men's fragrances now this one has a little bit of a fruit note running through it i'm not sure maybe that's minka fruit I'm not sure what it is, but surrounded by all that is just straight up masculinity. Touch a barbershop again, but a little bit clean, a little bit fruity, a lot masculine. And you can get this fragrance, I know, for under $20. I picked mine up at, it was Burke's at the time. It's Bill's now, Bill's, Bell's, however you pronounce it. Uh, and I've seen this fragrance at Burlington and Ross. Normally, I see it in a gift set. It's normally like two or three of them, but from what I've heard, all of the Lamborghini fragrances are pretty good, but nonetheless, this is one that I definitely like. From the House of Lamborghini, it is Millennial. It did not perform all that well on me, but, you know, nonetheless. Another one that I like quite a bit. It's a celebrity scent, and the name says it all. It's from... Well, I guess there's a house from the house of G-Unit, the house of 50 Cent. It's 50 Cent's power. And this was an, ex well, I won't say it's expensive, 30 or $40 fragrance when I started seeing it. And then the price just continuously dropped and dropped and dropped until I was seeing it in the bargain bins. I can't say that I've seen it a whole lot at the rack stores here lately. Because again, it dipped, 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 dipped. I think I ended up paying $9 for this. No, I think it may have been a little bit cheaper than that. I think I ended up paying $6 for this. Now, 
again does it smell dated it to me dated is not the correct word i mean it's a powerhouse power is a great name for this fragrance it's a one or two hitter uh, three or four uh, sprays is about all you're going to need. You can't overspray these fragrances because if you do, you're going to stink. You're going to burn your eyes. You're going to burn your nostrils. Everybody's going, you just can't. This is, these fragrances you have to spray with respect. <laughs> you cannot disrespect these. You have to, you know, you kind of got to ease into them just pss, pss, and, and you're good. <sighs> This one, I'm not sure if mint is listed in the note, but it gives me sort of a methyl vibe. I mean, that's just what I pick up from it. A wearable methyl. If you're familiar with Lacoste Boost, it has a similar vibe to that, but nowhere near as strong on the mint. It is a very pleasant fragrance but again again this is not for the weak at heart this is not the type of fragrance that you're going to wear and receive loaves of compliments for it this is the type of fragrance you're going to wear because you're feeling like the man and you want to smell like the man yeah that's what i pick up on just a a a, a light minty and not minty in like toothpaste or like mouthwash minty in like menthol that's that's the vibe that i get in a good way not in a bad way i don't remember the longevity and performance on this one because i haven't worn it but maybe once or twice definitely a fragrance that i need to break out and wear more but the price that i paid for it i couldn't pass it up this is one of those fragrances when it gets discontinued kind of like jay-z gold the price is going to go through the roof and people are going to be wanting to pay ridiculous amounts for it for it which even when jay-z gold was at the discounters it still wasn't extremely cheap but you know but i don't hear many people talk about 50 cent power and i think it's a, a decent fragrance I always mess the name of this fragrance up and it smells good. I can smell it off. Man. Okay. There it is. It's from the house of Dunhill. Man, I hate the way. I don't know who tells these people to put these names on these bottles. Why would you put black writing on a clear bottle if you want people to know what they're wearing? From the house of Dunhill, it is eccentric, eccentric. The only thing I don't like about this bottle is this right here. I, you know, I don't I don't understand Dunhill with what they did with that, but everything about the packaging of this uh, product is wrong from putting the name right there that you barely can see. It doesn't stand out, it doesn't, appeal to you to grab reach for it spray it and this right here is ridiculous but out of all the fragrances that i have out here this is probably the best smelling of them all just being honest and i picked this up a few years ago right after christmas at the same Burks that i got this lamborghini from the same day i think i picked up Christian Ronaldo's Legacy for like $6. I picked up this for like $7 or $8. I picked up Dunhill Icon Elite for like $10. I picked up like three or four 100 mil fragrances for 30 something dollars. Now to this one. This is nice. This is really, really nice. And the dry down of this, the, I don't know why I'm showing you the paper. The dry down of this is very, 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 very nice nice if you get an opportunity to get your nose on this or to get your hands on this whether it's just filling a buggy for free shipping i think you'll find yourself a workhorse of a fragrance that you will really really enjoy especially if you get it at a decent decent price and dunhill fragrances are not expensive to begin with oh my goodness 
clean, crisp, woody, just a nice button down shirt or a nice sweater with the button down shirt under it. Um, just just easy. I can see you wearing this to a, a basketball game or you know, we're midway through January, so we're gonna have baseball season starting soon. So maybe you got a nice early spring, late winter baseball game you're going to. Something like that. It just comes across as very warm, very inviting, very masculine, but at the same time, very clean and very subtle. For the 12, uh, no, I didn't even pay 12. For the six or $7 that I paid for this, I'm ecstatic, eccentric, Eccentric is a great name for this fragrance, but I honestly don't know how this one slipped through the radar. I, I I don't. I don't know if anybody else has ever even talked about this fragrance. I like it. I like it. Again, is it the reinvention of the wheel? No, it's not. But is anything the reinvention of the wheel now? Because when you can walk in any store and pick up everything and it either leans towards that blue Embroxen type smell that burnt birch type smell or the Baccarat Rock Rouge type smell. This is like everything we put our hands on. To pick up a fragrance like this that gives you that vibe of the late 80s and the 90s and it does not smell dated. It does not smell like a barbershop or fougere. Again, it just smells clean, classy, excellent. Yeah, I just, you know, I, I like this fragrance. I, I like this fra fragrance. I really do. Eccentric is a great name for this fragrance and it's spelled with an x x centric but this is this is a date night fragrance but it's not a date night fragrance in the way as it's it's cardamom or, or or sweet or it's gonna come across um like that it's gonna come across very confident very macho very machismo it's a nice fragrance that's a nice fragrance. This next one is how is from the house of Zier, and it is Trey Icon. And this is to me one of the best names of a fragrance. I, I love that name, along with English Laundry's Arrogant. You got Icon, Power, that's a good name as well. Eccentric, that's a good name as well. But Icon, I mean, you know, what you got on? Shit, Icon. Oh, okay. Not to be confused with. Acon or Acorn, Icon, baby, I'm wearing Icon. I mean, and it just, you know, I like it. I like that name. And this one has a little bit of a different smell to it too, but it's a, it's a masculine fragrance. I mean, it's not playful. It's not one of those fragrances that, again, your teenage boy is gonna pick up your wife or your girlfriend's not going to bother this bottle unless she's telling you, hey, put that on. I like it. Put that black bottle on. Put that Raiders bottle on. And this one to me is a little bit earthy. Again, not a barbershop masculine. It's a little bit light, a little bit clean, almost like it wants to go powdery. But it's a little bit fresh, airy, and earthy is what I get from it. It's lighter than the rest of these fragrances. So if you're looking for a masculine fragrances, fragrance that's lighter, then you would definitely like Zia's Icon. And again, I picked this up at the bargain, again, bargain bin, and I want to say I got it at Marshall's. I'm talking about I had it in my hand box was destroyed and I put it back and I kept watching it for like two or three weeks and it, it was red sticker marked down at like six bucks and nobody was getting it so I was just like you know what I'm just going I'm gonna I'm gonna get it I'm just gonna go ahead and get it but again a little bit of sweetness trying to come through there and a little bit of woodiness trying to come through there as well but I think the main player in this one is is it's got a nice crisp clean nuance to it slightly powdery but not over the top powdery that it's going to make you think of a powdery fragrance like Lamal or something like that it's not again the woods come into play but just clean crisp slightly powdery with a kiss of woods is what i get from zier's icon and it is 
definitely one of the lightest fragrance fragrance on this list out of all seven this is the lightest one this next one is an old school powerhouse and every time i think about this fragrance every time i think about this fragrance every time i think about this fragrance i see this fragrance i think about my homeboy marvell antonio allen who is from the legendary town creek alabama and if you know anything about alabama football then you know guys from town creek like pierre good uh, chris good carrie good aaron good uh, Antonio Langham, Chris Hood, Montoya Madden, Steve Harris, all from Town Creek. Even Steve Stanley that played at Alabama was from Town Creek, but he didn't go to Hazelwood. He went to Carver County right down the road, but still. Um, legends. All those guys I named went to Courtney Rose, went to Auburn. All those guys I named <laughs> played at Alabama. Some of them went on to play in the NFL. And uh, the thing about it is some of those guys weren't even the best football players. You still had guys like Terrence Steele, who was an outstanding linebacker who probably could have went pro if he hadn't messed up his knees. Since I remember playing against these guys in high school and looking at Terrence Steele and going, ain't no way he's the same age we is. I mean, he was a man amongst boys. And Steele was a good name for him. I mean, he's just, you know. But if you know Hazelwood football or Town Creek, then you know their connection to Alabama and for whatever reason this fragrance was really really popular there and when Marvell and I first started hanging out this was one of the fragrances that he always mentioned for whatever reason he always mentioned Giorgio Red. Now this fragrance Whew. this is probably one of the stronger fragrances on here along with 50 cents power and Lamborghini's Millennial. I would not wear this fragrance unless it was cool. If I was going to wear it on a hotter day, that is uh, Giorgio Beverly Hills Red, I would only go one to two sprays. Does this fragrance smell good? Yes. But it smells like something that would have come out in the 70s, the 80s, or the 90s. It is a fougere. It is a barbershop type of fragrance. It smells clean, it smells spicy. That's what it smells like. It smells like a man that's gonna have on a lot of rings, a lot of bracelets, and several, several thousand dollars in his pocket. That's just what it smells like. It smells like money, it smells like a man that knows what he wants, that don't chase his liquor. That's, that's just what it smells like. It smells like a man that's gonna smoke a cigar, and again, if you wear these fragrances properly, they work and they will get you compliments. If you wear these fragrances incorrectly and you put too much of them on, you're going to come across as if you're trying too hard and they won't work. They won't. They just won't. The key is to spray just the right amount of this on. Just the right amount. Even if you have to pump fake it, spraying 75 times, spraying this extra to make it last longer is not going to work. The only thing it's going to do is piss off everybody, uh, disrupt the balance in nature, burn up your nose hairs, and piss everybody off that you walk by. In that order. I mean, you're going to have leaves falling off the trees in August. It's, it's not going to be good. So what you need to do is this, is just give yourself one, two, three sprays at the most. I would say the back of the neck, so you leave a little bit of a scent trail, maybe mid-chest, and then maybe somewhere around your wrist. That way when you move and do stuff like that, it, it gets in the air and you know it's a post point, so it heats up. I do not recommend you spraying this no more than three to four times. If you bad, you may can go five, but that, is really pushing it if you go with the fifth spray i definitely recommend you go below the knees just to give it some longevity maybe on your blue jeans or whatever and if you're wearing a, a material that's very absorbent like a hoodie it's at your own risk because i'm telling you you could spontaneously combust with this fragrance but does this fragrance smell good yes it does is it for everybody no it's not. My boy Clayton Wright out there in Austin, Texas, this one is for you. This is one that you would like and, and can pull it off. 
This is one again. We talk about them skinny boys. This is a big boy fragrance. You gotta, you gotta be 250 and up to wear this. You little dudes, you can't. I'm sorry, you can't wear this. This is not, this is not for you. Go get, go get Versace Manu Fresh. That's this is not for you. It's not. It's just not. You gotta have some chest, some taco meat, some bass in your voice. Maybe even some scars and stitches. Yeah, yeah. Scars, stitches, scratches, that kind of thing. You, yeah, you gotta be in, been in a bar fight. And, you know. Uh, it just you, it, you it's qualifications i didn't make the rules i didn't make the rules but there's qualifications to wearing this fragrance and if you don't have some of them you know but again ultra masculine very strong very potent barbershop red is a good name think barbershop frugere with some spice that's it you may even have to have a jerry curl to wear this, or have had. If you have never had a jerry curl, you can't wear this. You can't, you can't wear it. That that is jerry curl approved. If you haven't had, if you haven't had a jerry curl and lived in Memphis at some point, St. Louis at some point, that, that's just not for you. It that's Town Creek, Alabama. That's that's for you right there, baby. This next one is one that I really, really like. I've had this, this is an older bottle. I don't know if it's been reformulated. I've had this for years. When I got this bottle, I remember I got it from my mom a long time ago for Christmas. And I didn't really like it at the time. I, I hadn't grown into it. I was a you know young boy. I, I liked sweet fragrances. That's what I liked. But as I've gotten older, I've grown to like this fragrance. And the fragrance is Realm. The fragrance is realm and believe it or not believe it and it's said to have pheromones in it and i can't vouch for it having pheromones in it i don't know but what i can vouch for is this is one of those fragrances that in some kind and even if you don't want to wear this by itself use it as a layer just layer it with something just layer it with something it can't hurt especially if you put on something super strong like savage just hit yourself with one or two sprays of this mix it in just layer it if the pheromones work, they work. But what you get from this fragrance right here, to me, it is the definition of clean. Now, it is super masculine, but it is definitely clean. Just a clean, easy, I don't have to think about it fragrance. I mean, that's just what it smells like. It smells like an extension of the shower with a really good expensive soap. Not a shower gel where it smells like ocean wave and gulf breeze. No, it just smells like really good expensive soap. That's what you smell like when you wear this and just a clean masculine fragrance. That's all. Ain't nothing else to say about it. But I like it. I like it a lot. It took me several several years to grow into it but now that i've grown into it i like it and when i wear that fragrance i do get compliments as it dries down and sits on your skin more it does become a little bit more of a masculine strong fragrance but i do think that's probably one probably the freshest and the cleanest on this list this next one it's it's a sleeper from a really good house. The house is uh, Claiborne. And the fragrance is Mambo. Mambo. And you see the levels on this. Now, is this the best performer? No. It's not. But this is one of those fragrances. Listen to me now. Believe me later on. Women like this fragrance and I don't really know why because it's not one of my favorites it's not I'll be the first person to tell you but it's something about maybe it's the spiciness of this fragrance and to me it's very nostalgic because it reminds me of the 90s coming out of high school and coming into my own in so many different areas this fragrance reminds me of that time period I'll tell you what it reminds me of, just to be 100% honest. It reminds me of going to Kmart the first couple of days after Christmas, trying to catch all the gift sets that they marked down. I wish I had some Adidas moves to put in this collection too, but you know. But anyway, with this one, 
you get that do, 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 do. it just makes you want to mambo it just makes you want to move because that's what you get with this one nice fresh clean spicy fragrance that is super 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 masculine it just smells good it just works i mean again it's not the reinvention of the wheel but it is just masculine and spicy nothing else to say about it that is it folks that is it that has been seven fragrances from my collection that are both budget friendly and super super masculine because at the end of the day the main goal for me is to help you smell good and at the same time keep some money in your pocket i don't want to always be talking about big hauls and big expensive fragrances i want to talk to you about some that don't cost a whole lot and that you may find in your bargain bin because you know at the end of the day it shouldn't cost an arm and a leg to smell good i want to throw this out here too talking about smelling good on a budget find yourself a good oil guy that's a guy that sells oils i got an oil close by let me see if i can pick one up i think i got one right here Maybe it's right here. I got an oil right here somewhere. I know I do. Well, I'm making myself look bad. I can't get it. But anyway. Is that it? Yep. I knew I had one. Find yourself a good oil guy. This is one of my oils. And I got this from my friend, Justin Colebanks, J. Cole, up in Maryland. And this is Tom Ford Fabulous, and it smells almost identical. And the thing about these oils is the longer they sit, the stronger they get. And if you find yourself a good oil guy, that is a really good way to smell good on a budget. I get mine from a gas station here, and I don't know where he gets them, but I'll stop in there from time to time. He may have four or five that I want, and I get them. And the thing about them is I'm not pushing to wear them right then and there so I get them put them in a nice dark place and let them sit and sit and sit and come back to them about a year or two later and you would be surprised at how they've uh, matured and just gotten better like this one I've had probably about five years and it is really really good it is it is really really good and it lasts forever and they project and I mean it, it find yourself a good oil guy it will help you keep money in your pocket because most of the time these oils are four or five dollars and you know they do the trick so find yourself a good oil guy and it will help you smell good on the low now that being said i am going to get off of here get this video up edit it so you can see it i am still snowed in hoping to get out tomorrow the highway's clearing up but the little road that i live on because it's only four houses on my dead end road um we're on a hill so it just hasn't been a lot of traffic and the temperature has not been above freezing but one day and that was today so it, it just didn't go the snow sleet ice combination that we get it's just sitting there so but anyway i love you all may god bless you all thank you all so much for being the best part of this channel guys i really do appreciate it it means a lot to me so i'm going to edit this video get off here and Hopefully the next time you see me, I will be doing a haul video because I got a really good deal on some fragrances and I cannot wait to bring them to you. Won't be much of a weekly fragrance review because I ain't been nowhere. So, won't be one. But with that being said, guys, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Happy Saturday. Go Niners, all that good stuff. And until next time, guys, peace.